What's up moving? You keep moving out of focus? <laughs> <laughs> I need to fidget, hurry up. <laughs> I'm not going to fidget, I'm holding my hands behind and I'm not kicking. Um, I got my first bike when I was four, it was a little like 80 pound ICEL Jet 50 Rev and Go. Then my dad would take me on once every six months and then they get parked back in the garage. And yeah, then we've had bikes all the time, but I've never really not done a lot of them because I used to play rugby. My dad used to just like, I don't know, he used to beg him to take me out and he'd always say no. And he'd have a paddy and kick it over when it used to cut out and say that two strokes are So we didn't really have a... And then uh, I got my bike license when I was 17. Got a VFR 400 on the road. It was supposed to be restricted, but I just stamped the book and uh, crashed it about four times. I remember I rode out of my street and um, I thought I was like King Big <laughs> and rode past everyone at college and fell off it straight away and landed at some girl's feet and I'd grab her ass <laughs> and melted my boxes to a hole in <laughs> and I had to waddle back home. I don't know, I'll get more of a bus from road racing. Um, I don't know, it's like, if, say if you do a track day and you ride around a short circuit on your own, it's a bit boring, but if you say if you ride around a road track on your own, it's just like someone's closed, they find a really good road and someone's closed it for you to race around and you just get more of a buzz from it. I don't know, I prefer it. Um, I've always watched it. I'm fidgeting again, I'm kicking the gate. I've always watched it and um, my mum and dad had the honeymoon at the TT and my dad named me after Mike Hale, so it's always been like a family thing um, and I've always wanted to do it and like obviously I just said I wanted to do it today, I've done it now I've done it, I want to keep going faster and like as a racer you'll never be happy until you go obviously as fast as you can. I still feel like there's a lot, a lot of learning to do, I've got about another, I say it's taking another few years to learn around going properly and I can start to push a bit but it's better than going all out straight away and then scaring yourself so keep building up. It was good, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Um, I think my, fir my first lap on the Manx was 109 or something. It was a lot better than I expected. I was thinking like 100 mile an hour would be the aim and then I don't think I'm much faster since then to be honest. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'd probably say John McGuinness just because he's dead like laid back as a crack, he doesn't take it too take himself too seriously and he's obviously as fast as I don't know, I don't really know about time well. I'd say like it's probably not gonna happen, but I'd like to be try and get up front in the next like it always take a long time to get used to, but eventually I'd like to try and be someone, you know, up there, but see how we go, innit? It'll take a few years to learn tracking that so yeah it'd be nice at the minute though no because I'm slow as anything yeah everyone gets nervous you're lying if you say you don't get nervous I don't get as nervous as I used to when I first started I used to like properly just get nervous every race but I'm more relaxed now but obviously when as soon as you get onto Glen Country Road and you sat there waiting to set off until you get that touch on the back and yeah you are breaking it a bit Probably from Ramsey up to the bungalow because it's usually one of my best sectors and it's smooth like, um, say the next best is through Cronky Valley through to Kurt Michael, I like that section as well. So, and Ginger Ale is probably my least favourite just because it's really bumpy. It smacks me in the balls about five times. I don't know, you don't really have a choice do you? <laughs> um, yeah, to give you like this SIS sports drink that gives you a bit of energy, I have a bit of that, like what makes you peel up. Um, I don't know, to be honest, just, it's better to be dead calm around here, because if you go fast, if you like, well obviously not the top lads, but when you're learning, the faster you try and go, the slower your lap time actually is, because you, they say to you like you want to be like slow into the corner, fast out, getting all the drives on the straights, but like when you're like, still unsure properly of where to push and that, you try and go into corners too fast, slow down mid-corner and then lose all the drives, so 
better to be dead relaxed and chilled, I think, around here. I don't know what the top lads say, they're doing 135, though, they probably say differently. Um, that's all for tonight. If you want to ask any more questions apart from how big my nose is, comment in the comments below.